For the first step of our Macintosh inspired artworks, we need a couple of tools. We're going to need a pencil, um, a Sharpie marker, and then some tracers. And we'll need two pieces of paper. One is our practice paper, and one is going to be our final copy. So to begin with, we need to learn how to make that awesome, awesome first, or that flower that Macintosh is so famous for. And what we do is we use a round tracer to begin with. So I'm going to set my round tracer down, and you might need help with this part, but we're gonna trace around it with our pencil so that we end up having a circle. Now, this is just our practice, so if we make mistakes, that's going to be okay. Go ahead and make a line right across your flower. We're going to make it um, like a rainbow. So going from one end all the way to the other, like a rainbow curve, right there. Then we go to the middle of our line, so that's about the middle, and we're going to start there and curve to the edge of our flower. And go to the middle again and curve to the edge. Go to the middle again and curve until we run into something. This time it ended up being one of those other curves. That's okay. This is going to get smaller and smaller as we go. Middle of the last line, curve. Middle of the last line, curve. Middle of the last line, and so that's a good start to practicing our Macintosh flower. Try it one more time. Now we're going to take our white piece of paper and I'm using a long piece of paper. And this happens to be watercolor paper because we'll be using some watercolor later on. done. You might even add a second flower. That's really up to you. I think I'm going to stick with one. And I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and outline the flower that I just created. So now I'm going on top of all of my pencil marks. There's two different kinds of lines that we're going to use today. One is a vertical line and one is horizontal. Let's start with our horizontal. If you remember, horizontal lines go from side to side. I'll make a couple of these. Side to, uh-oh, I ran into the flower. That's okay, if you run into the flower, skip over it and continue your line on the other side. Side to side. Side to side. That's about enough. You could add more or less. It's really up to you. Now let's add some vertical lines. Vertical is up and down. Oh, I ran into that flower again. Okay, we have two choices. We're going to jump over it. You could jump over it and the lines or just the rows. I'm choosing to just jump over the rows. Vertical line again. And another line beside that. It's kind of making a checkerboard here, that's okay. Sometimes Macintosh will put little tiny horizontal lines in his big, long, vertical lines. Those are fun to do because then you can kind of color them in in different ways. Sometimes he just starts like right here and he'll go across. Sometimes he'll add it over here. You're going to add your vertical and horizontal lines. And when my students asked how many lines, I said right around 10 to 15 lines is going to be about perfect. Add your vertical and horizontal lines to finish your design. 